you're recording me now? Oh, let me record you. Yeah. Awesome. Hold on one second. Alright, so that's one second. Really now? Yeah, I'm just turning my. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the 3D scanner functions by, well, its purpose is to make a map in three Cartesian coordinates, X, Y, and Z, of anything you put on it. So, for example, this object, it would take a top-down image of that object, which you could then export to a CAD program or something else, and have that useful. So... The way it works is that there's an IR sensor on this moving center carriage, and this motor pulses it back and forth. Well, it, it goes one way, and then it brings it back, and all along the way it records the points. And then it jumps over using that motor down there, and then it, it jumps this one over, and then it does it again with the X. And in that way, you get a full map of the entire object at this point of the entire build. Um, future programming will make it so that I can limit the area that I'm going to scan. But you already turned it off, so you can't... I can turn it back on. But your PC's off or sleeping? It's off, so it's a 3D scanner or a 2D scanner? It's a 3D scanner, because underneath it has an IR sensor. So it only, oh, okay. it only does you. one view, you. You but it does a depth. You. you don't need that plug-in? I do. So now when it moves over, does it take a, a view of the angle as well? So let me kind of combine all the angles? Let me show you what it does. It doesn't have to get that complicated. Um, here's my code. Uh, the recording may not show it. Right now. It's all over the code. It may be three on the line. It's pretty simple. Yeah. All right. Um, to start, I'm going to turn on my serial monitor. This shows everything that's coming out of this port. I'm going to hit the reset button real quick. I'm going to hit it again in a moment. Because I don't have all my limits set up, so I have to manually reset the location. So, give it a minute. It says start output. And it should start running. And it will output information. Oops, not good. Hold on a minute. Just imagining. Because <laughs> oh. uh, you have to yeah, set the limits first. Give it a minute, I'll start up again. There's some technical errors, it's minor only. Yeah. So, the way it's jittering is each time it jitters, it actually stops for. Um, a twentieth of a second and takes a recording of its X position, its Y position, and the center value. Nice, man. And then you and then you just store it and create an image. I don't even have to store it. Well, I, I do. What I do is I have this whole list mm -hmm. and it prints out. And as long as it starts on a blank page, I can just copy paste all the data and throw it into Excel. Mm -hmm. What we needed to do, we need to be like a half foot off the ground, but this one will only read up to about a, a foot and a half off the ground. So what okay. we're planning on doing instead is taking, putting, putting one in the nose cone, making our own, of course, this one isn't that powerful, and then taking two receivers and putting them like 45 degree offsets, uh -huh. so that when it sends its signal out and receives it, right. it picks up objects in the distance, and then it'll be able to tell if it was from the left or the right side. So it's straight up front, a small object here and a small object here is the same thing. Right. But if you don't have eyes, you don't know. So what's um, what's actually happening here? You've got... Um, this is a 12, well, the power supply is feeding 12 volts into the regulator, which is feeding the Arduino, and the 12 volts is also giving that power. Right. Now this is feeding the signal back through this RS-45 chip, because that's the protocol that it uses, and into the Arduino. And what the Arduino is reading, and displaying is called NEMA code, mm -hmm. which is giving you your depth of load transducer, your temperature, and your depth of load the transponder from the keel. Okay. And is it, uh, do you have it running live right now, taking um, data, or I is it... I did, and then apparently my computer restarted while I was next to it. Oh, uh, okay. So it's going to take time to, to make it run, right? Oh, sorry. I was watching. It's just a device that...
they measure the speed of the three wheels, but the one like actually makes sound like the same thing, but like this. The wheels have to be locked in the car, and that's the nice thing. But I uh, see that you guys have like this is like the wheel that you can use for the speed. Like, the LED can show that. How many months did you work on it? Or, um, or a couple of days? <laughs> I got about 60 hours in, but the majority of it was the voltage regulator on the side. Yeah. Hello. Hi. You look like a spy. I'm Russian, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> I came late, you know, it stinks a bunch of people left already when I came. So this is what? This is a sonar? A depth transducer, yeah. So what do you use for this? So... Um, for this one avoidance? Yes. Oh, you want to put this on the bottom of the boat? Actually, we're going to put it in the front of the AUV. Oh, I see. And then it's going to have two receivers on, like, 45 degree angles, so it's going to send the pulse out, and they're going to receive it. And then it's going to be able to distinguish if an object was to the left or right or in front of it so that it can avoid if it doesn't have vision. Yeah. So, so where would be like the, whatever, the Z? Is there like, um, or is it, it's not in that, it's not outputting that kind of form, that kind of information? It, it does, but it's going to be hard to read because it's not technically deep enough. I just use the bucket so that it actually gets data. Oh, okay. It doesn't really read under point. Oh, I think, oh, oh! <laughs> it's good you said that. <laughs> see. Oh, so it's like just a uh, Bluetooth, you're replacing the RC controller? Yeah. Alright. Just interesting. They're just interesting, you know? Huh? This class, when I took it, yeah. So you took this class? Yeah, last semester. Yeah. Did you take a video of this project? No, not yet. Oh, that, yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. We agree. Oh, you didn't know that? I took him my class. I'm not going to tell him anything. What's that? Some of them are. You, you, I don't know. Did you see the one that is Segway that balances itself? 
76 is kind of cold for you. As your room starts to heat up, the fan speed will pick back up. And you see that spinning faster. But then as... I'm just trying to get it hot, so it'll do it by itself. But um, as it's getting hotter and hotter, you'll stay at 5 because it's a max PWM. But as the temperature is to drop, your uh, speed of the fan should increase with it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So like... So it's spinning really quickly right now because it's hot, yeah. and it should slow down as it cools down. So yeah, going down the speed. The only problem is that this thing brings it down so fast that it doesn't give it a chance. It doesn't to have time to respond. Yeah, to to get the speed right. But if the a, like, if like the ambient temperature decreased enough, it would yeah. it would slow down. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. And it's wireless, so you put this on the band or whatever. And oh, it's wireless? Okay, yeah, they're separate. Mm-hmm. So you can put this on the band or whatever. All right, awesome, man. Thank Oh, so it's gonna, it tells you what gear you're in as you're driving? And your speed and your distance. And, uh, I think it's ideas, okay? You are there, I think, the most pleasure to you. Demonstrate that again. Yeah. Middle, uh, I'm using the door. But since it's a closed box and it's too loud in it. Mm-hmm. So, so can you tell me how it's measuring the gears? Just briefly. Oh, uh, basically, is that it counts the speed of this, how this one rotates and how this one rotates. Uh huh. And measuring the revolutions and the calculations inside, it would take, it would, gives it a pulse mm-hmm. on the motor. Just to give you a little concept, uh, this is the manual part. Then you uh-huh. go up and down. See that? See that step of guard? Where? It goes up in gears. Oh, okay. Uh huh. But once I get to the max, it says in there max speed. Yeah. It's 40. It says you can't go any higher, and right. it doesn't it doesn't spin the motor. Yeah. See that? It says you're a max, and I can't go any further. Mm-hmm. This is 40. Right. And then once I get to the higher, I mean I need to go lower. As I go down, it rotates to reverse, it goes right. down to a lower speed, and it tells me the gear that I'm on right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. But eventually it's going to tell me the distance, the max speed. What kind of sensor are you using to calculate it, calculate the two speeds? Uh, I'm using read switch. Two read switch. Uh, where are they? Uh, I haven't put them on right They're now. They're not on yet. Okay. There's no time to do it. Okay. So I just did the manual part for now, okay. but I'm, uh, I'm actually working on the summer. What's this here? This is Dino. 
This okay. is what gives me like an AC volt, uh -huh. voltage that I can run to this platform now since I can't run it. I'm using a battery, a low volt battery. All right, sweet.